What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS here with the very next War Recap video. And this was a random matchup that we had. I'm sure, you know, a lot of you guys have heard of this clan. Let it tug. Probably hammered the pronunciation on that. I do actually have a couple buddies in the Netherlands that I've, you know, met through this game. And for those of you that don't know, what it basically means, Leidich is a city and Tug is like a friendly, you know, bantery way of saying scum. So scum from the city of Leidich. And anyway, that is the history lesson. Now that everybody knows that, I'm very proud to say, for those of you that don't know, our Town Hall 9s, the last few wars, not going to lie, have recently been struggling. Struggling to clear 9s. We've had to dip down with our Town Hall 10s in order to clear 9s. However, in this war, not only did we clear nines with nines, we also had, I, I don't even know, maybe six scouts, maybe eight. I might be off a couple numbers, but all in all, a fantastic job to our Town Hall nines this war, and I got a lot of cool attacks to show you guys that came from it. And we did have one 10 v 10. We'll go ahead and scroll down what they did to our side of the map. And we did manage to get the 11s all two-starred with our 10s. Since we had so many scouts, we actually did have an 11 v 11 attempt. Uh, but regardless, you know, all in all, top to bottom, it was a very, very successful war, even though we did take the defeat 83 to 84, which I will get to in a little bit. And we had one dip fail from our Town Hall 11, so we went seven for eight. So not too shabby. Big improvement from the last uh, few tough matchups that we've had. So definitely looking bright. Uh, on the horizon here looking looking bright for the clan so good job to everybody and the difference here as we go back our breakdown real quick our breakdown was four nine uh blazing mist as all of you know is a town hall 10 they had again it was a random matchup so they did have five town hall 11s and that alone i mean it, they are a very very tough clan very good clan and you know with that advantage they were able to take the win on this one but we definitely put up hell of a fight so great job to everybody i think they had a pair of dip fills as well they also had a 10v10 so very very competitive war came down to just the last few attacks so at any rate very very fun war and again with with this you know with these great wars we do have some awesome attacks to show that come out of them so let's go ahead and get right into it I got quite a few I want to show this time and we have Rahat going in on his Town Hall 9 doing it with a CB Goho and notice he even has a witch uh, down there in the troop bard using that witch basically to distract the the heroes here and the enemy clan castle troops and you'll see right now his queen is just basically trying to suicide notice this is a it's all it's all um it's all hogs and his clan in his clan castle he had a maxed golem that he brought along so basically he's using his heroes to get the queen and basically just start a little defense a little defense funnel for his hogs here you'll notice once the queen takes out the enemy queen uh queen on queen there she goes takes out the bomb tower and actually rounds the corner here just making a really really nice defensive path for his hogs here so they're going in, goes in, and notice he does have four heal spells in this spell composition. There goes the first one that he dropped as he took a, quite a bit of DPS uh, from those Teslas. And there he's about to drop down his second heal. There it goes, has Hogs coming in up at 12 o'clock. Just, I mean, almost, I mean, I know was, he had the Golem in the clan castle, but I mean, he brought 36 Hogs with this. I mean, you want to talk about mass Hogs. There goes the Skeleton Spell. Not too sure if he wanted to use that on the Queen or not. He might have forgotten to drop it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so didn't get too much value from that Skeleton Spell. And that's pretty much it. All defense is down. And it's just cleanup. Still has a, a Wizard in the bag that he's just going to be using to help for cleanup. As you see, this base was completely wrecked. So really, really good job to have that one. We don't see, I mean, even with the, you know, the giant bombs being nerfed, we don't see a lot of, you know, really mass hog attacks. So really enjoyed that one. Good job, Rahat. All right, now let's go ahead and check out number, which one? Number 25. We got Fez coming in. I actually got a chance to see this one live. 
and he has a hell of a plan for this base. Really, really compact base, but we're going to look at all kinds of value here. So he's going to be doing it with a Queen Walk uh, CB Hobo. So he has his Queen obviously up there around 11 o'clock. Uh, just getting the clan castle taken care of, drops a, a pair of wizards just to start that funnel as he does want his queen to head to the bottom left here to meet up with his kill squad. So enemy queen's dead, uh, clan castle troops have been taken care of. Uh, she's going to be beating on that clan castle, getting really good value, again, just for those two pair, uh, just a, a pair of wizards taking out that gold mine. And Queen's going to take out that wizard tower. She's going to start moving to the left. So she is headed where she wants, uh, where he wants her to go. Has an archer right on that army camp down there, right there at nine o'clock. As she's just slowly but surely making her way, uh, just setting up the show for his uh, kill squad that's going to be coming in here. So there goes his uh, first golem, his first and only golem. Going to do some nice tanking. Goes ahead and drops one wall breaker just to test the area. Queen was getting a little low, so he did drop that rage just in case. Goes ahead and drops his other uh, few wall breakers. Here comes the king and bowlers. Just kind of making it into this little channel right here. So you'll see the, the queen and everything is just going to be meeting up here. As his kill squad is just basically taking out the whole left side of this base. Uh, going to be taking out that Tessa queen... Uh, King does walk a little bit, uh, going to be walking outside, but it's not going to be too much of a deal. It does have a baby dragon just to kind of meet up. He has everything meeting up with his kill squad here. And if you haven't noticed, look down at what's left. Basically, all he has left is this part of the base right over here. And he hasn't deployed a single hog. He has 15 hogs and two heal spells. And over half of this base has already been destroyed. So you want to talk about amazing value. Uh, had a nice funnel for his bowler set up. And they're just being so patient with this attack as it was go as you know, as we were planning it out on voice. And he just basically one finger drops all of his hogs, gets a nice heal right before that bomb tower. Uh, goes off goes in takes out that cannon and I mean there's really only a few defenses left uh, th this attack only lasted about two minutes completely swagged a heal spell swagged his uh, poison as well just completely wrecked that base uh, really really nice attack by Fez and that's when you know that, that a, an attack went to plan uh, when you're gonna be swagging spells like that all right so now we got my other buddy, we got Sandy, aka Finch, going in here, doing it with one of my favorite attacks. You guys know what it is. The Suicide Hero, Quad Lalo, bringing a pair of zaps. He's got a Quake for that 80 that's going to be right in the middle there. And again, if you guys watch that video, a base layout like this is absolutely perfect. Perfect defense pathing uh, for the loons. And especially for the hounds as well, as you'll notice that all these ADs don't even overlap. So going to get tremendous value as he did drop down his heroes. He does have a baby dragon just to kind of help uh, push through the enemy clan castle. It did have three baby dragons in it. Had a poison waiting for him. So heroes have already done their job. So anything that they get at this point is just extra. So it goes ahead, drops down his, uh, zap, his two zaps and his quake, takes out that middle air defense right there in the center of the base and goes and deploys his first hound followed up by a couple loons just targeting each of these defenses one by one as that hound is going to be taking everything goes ahead and drops down his second hound first one pops so he already has some cleanup on the map um, some pesky air skellies have come out but they're going to be aggroing on to uh, the pups but not going to be an issue goes and drops his cc hound uh, targeting that air defense on the far right side of this base. Tesla farm does pop, but pretty much is being tanked by the, the hound there. His CC hound goes ahead, drops a nice haste. And just look at the loons, how they're making, they're just making the way through this base, count, uh, going clockwise, just perfectly around the base. Uh, goes ahead and drops down his last camp hound. And look at that wad of loons. And notice the spells. He still has two haste and a couple loons that he hasn't even deployed. So again, a base layout like that is just so perfect for doing an attack like this. And just completely wrecked. <laughs> he dropped one of the haste right there. So, you know, swag two spells, 
you know, had a couple loons in the bag that he's just going to be using for cleanup. So just a really good attack, you know, good execution, good plan. So awesome job as there's the last building goes down. So good job to uh, Finch on that one. Completely wrecked it. He has been doing very well. He also six packed this war. So good job to him. All right, let's go ahead and check out number 21. We got my boy Yaji coming in here. So glad that he joined. So we have Yaji coming in here, and he's going to be doing this attack with a Queen Charge Lalo, one of his favorite attacks. And you'll notice right here, this is very important for those of you that always wonder why your healers switch and all these things. Notice the patience here. The Queen really hasn't been targeted, but the King has. Notice he didn't drop his healers until his King was just far enough away, because if he dropped his healers too soon, they would have... Um, started healing the king rather than the queen. So very, very good patience, uh, you know, on, on something like that. For those of you that are wondering, you know, why your healers switch, uh, definitely something to pay attention to. Enemy clan castle comes out. Again, they had quite, quite a few clan castles with three baby dragons. I don't know why. So it drops down that rage, clan castle, nothing but a, but a few flies. Uh, goes ahead and takes out that archer tower. Almost got with his wall breakers. Almost got a double layer wall break on that one. Just shy, just a couple. But still getting good good value as he did get his queen funneled into that compartment to take out the enemy queen. Also going to be taking out the enemy king here. But that's not going to mean too much for an air raid. So uh, she did take out the enemy queen, the clan castle. One air defense. So here comes his uh, Lalo portion. Starting over at 1 o'clock. Uh, has a camp and his CC Hound targeting that first air defense at 12 o'clock. Uh, goes ahead and drops a, a few haste just to bring those loons in. Again, you do not want your hounds getting too far in front of your loons. Uh, so keeping that very tight right there. Goes ahead and drops that rage where that little mini Tesla farm was. Uh, air, second, or excuse me, the third air defense is down. They split off to that air sweeper, but he still has quite a few loons to deploy here. So as he, his hounds are on the last air defense, nice and patient because he does want the cleanup from those pups. So right when both lava hounds popped, uh, loons go ahead and take out that last AD. So he just has cleanup all over the map on this one and still has two loons down in the troop bar to deploy. So just completely wrecked it. Yaji always killing it with the queen charge Lalo. Really enjoyed that swag and a couple loons. Very, very nice attack. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our very last replay, we have Dework Sun uh, going to be doing it with a stoned hobo. I mean, why not? You know, not all these attacks have to be crazy fancy. He does add a little bit of spice to this attack with, uh, you know, doing it with the quad quake. So really, really enjoy that. So goes ahead and drops down his uh, first two of three golems. Going to be coming in here towards the heroes. Uh, just going to be getting around this little pesky wall right here. But he's going to be setting up a really nice funnel for his heroes here. As, you know, he obviously wants everything to make their way into the core of this base. And not to mention, he did have a really nice break uh, with those quakes right there. And you are going to see his bowlers walk. Um, they're going to be going around, you know, at 6 o'clock right there. But with that rage and that heal in that core and all the golems, I mean, pretty much all that DPS in that core is going to be wiped out um, just from the golems popping as well as getting his heroes all in there. And you'll, you'll see that he does still have his Archer Queen ability already deploying hogs over on the upper right hand side. And as that bomb right there goes off, those expos were all being tanked by the golems. So it was just enough to get his hogs through all that DPS, goes ahead and drops the heal just on the last couple defenses right there, and it's all clean up. And those again, all those golems in that core with with all the all that HP that they have, they tank just enough for the queen heal, and you'll see that he didn't even use his AQ ability. So just gonna, even though his bowlers walked, I could not believe how much he wrecked this base. So awesome job to do work, son. Always doing work. So really enjoyed that attack. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Town Hall 10 V10 that we had, which was number 13 right here. We got Clashing Titan going in. And sometimes not all attacks go according to plan, as everybody knows. 
Same thing goes with Town Hall 10, but let's check this out. So this ended up, he was going to be doing a hero swap. Um, but you'll see he does have a wall breaker fail right there. But not all is lost. So this, so instead of doing this little mini charge right here, look at the plane that his heroes have to cross. If you look right there at that white line, and you're going to see a very fortunate event as the, after this queen, after his queen takes out that dark barracks, look at, she steps in the plane, goes ahead, pops the ability, takes out the enemy archer queen. So didn't even have to deal with the clan castle that he originally thought he was going to have to deal with. So... And since the clan castle was a hound loon, he just gets to continue on with this raid. Doesn't even have to worry about it. As his hounds have deployed and taken out the first air defense, goes in, drops down a pair of haste. As they're going to be collapsing on the third, on the second air defense, has a nice freeze that caught the inferno tower and the AD. And those hounds right there are taking a lot of damage between those two expos and that Tesla farm right there. So goes ahead and rages everything up into the core one shots all those teslas has a huge wad of balloons he does still have one haste to deploy an air defense is still up nice value from that haste right there as they take out the fourth and final ad catch a tail end of that rage and they're gonna be collapsing onto this inferno tower i mean i could not believe when i saw this attack you know even though the wall breakers just got completely fried and he didn't get that break that he wanted the Archer Queen was still able to get in that little nook and aggro onto the enemy queen and didn't have to deal with any uh, enemy clan castle troops. Again, as it was a Hound Loon in there. So Clashing Titan just did an amazing job adjusting on the fly. That's how you get it done. 10v10 action. Welcome to the clan Clashing Titan. All right, let's go ahead and check out one 11v10 hit. As we all know how crucial those attacks are. We got Mr. Tony going in. Doing it bitch style on this pretty funky Town Hall 10 base. And we know how crucial these hits are. So let's go and see how he breaks this down. Doing it with bitch as he has his witches and bowlers over here at 3 and 6 o'clock. Just creating a nice, nice funnel for the main group of his troops. As he gets his CC Giants heading in. Guy has his first of three jumps, first jump leading all the troops into the base and into that first Inferno Tower compartment. Gets a nice rage as he has all his heroes going in to the core of this base. Goes in, poisons the enemy clan castle as that loon falls right there. And everything just working its way very nicely into this core. Goes ahead and drops down his third jump to lead to the other side of the base, which does connect the compartment to the second Inferno Tower. And pops his king ability, getting really good value there. Still has his archer queen ability in the bag. And he does have some uh, a pair of witches on the flanks here. Just distracting these defenses, taking them out. And this base was completely wiped out pretty much as soon as it started. So just got amazing value from all of his troops on this one. It's so hard for Town Hall 10s to defend an attack like this. It is just so powerful. And again, hasn't even popped the Archer Queen ability and just completely smashes this one. So real good job to uh, Mr. Tony on this, a guy we can always count on to come through with these big hits uh, in these wars as the Town Hall was the last building to go down. Awesome attack on that one. So again, just to wrap it up, uh, our war results, 83 to 84, Ledich Tug did take the victory on this one however they did have a slight or a pretty big advantage up top but regardless it was a very fun war great job to them they had some amazing bases and you know i wish them nothing but the best of luck in the future and as always we have to give our six pack shout outs out so for town hall nine we had rahat we had Gooves, awesome job Gooves, Finch coming through, and Do Work Son, always doing work, all four of them with six packs. We didn't have as many six packs as you would think because we cleared the nines so quickly. Um, a lot of our nines had scouts. So at any rate, very good job to, uh, to those four guys and for our Town Hall 11s, uh, six packs. We had Captain Crunch and Shy Guy, so awesome job to you guys. Again, very fun war. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the attacks that um, I featured for this one. And as always, stay tuned for more content coming your guys' way. Like the video if you like the video. Leave any comments down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.